everybody, it's Amy, and I'm here with a year in the life of a professional crafter. Finally, um, things have been, life has been getting really real, and uh, it's still pretty real. Um, so I know I haven't done an update since uh, episode six, but here we go. I'm, I'm going to consolidate uh, and do some videos and share some tips to uh, as an enhancement to my blog. Uh, you can read my blog at this, I don't know, let's put it right here, this uh, link, crafte-blog.com. Um, a year in the life of a professional crafter. I publish it once a week, and uh, it pretty much journals my life. I'm a, a full-time public school teacher, and uh, I have a soap company and a skincare company and other things. It's yeah, I'm one of those people. So uh, uh, I'm looking at episodes uh, 7, 8, and 9 on my blog, and I wrote some notes that uh, I wanted to talk about. So I just, I, I, yeah, here we go. So actually, this is probably, this was just from 7. These notes were just from 7, so forget it. It's not going to be 7, 8, 9. This is just from 7, and uh, we'll keep it short for these videos and uh, see what we can do. So point the first. Uh, use holidays as work days. Uh, when you are working full time and you have a business, um, you have to use holidays. Like uh, the one that I had in episode seven was uh, President's Day in February. Okay, use those as work days. Get up, go to the gym, do your thing, whatever. But you get working and you plan for it as a work day and get some work done. That's what you have to do. Um, then here's another thing that I do that I noted and I've been doing this all year and maybe I've been doing this forever and I just never noted it when I was when I started doing this thing um, on Sunday nights or whenever your weekend is but the day before you go back to work uh, right as so this is point the second write out your uh, schedule for the week in your calendar I use a, my electronic calendar but uh, write the whole week out so that, um, I mean, planning calms me. Having it all planned out is calming. I know what's going to happen ahead of time. There's no scrambling, that kind of thing. So um, start a habit of on Sunday night, write out your calendar for the week. You're going to feel better for that. Point the third. Um, family comes first. Health comes first. That's it. People will understand. Everything else can wait. Your family comes first and your health comes first. Or their health. Um, there's nothing more important than that. That said, go to the gym. That also said, I'm going to be working on my gym video. I know I've been saying this forever, but I'm going to be working on that. Work out. Eat real food. Take care of your health. Take care of your family first. The people in your uh, business, your customers, your clients, will understand. And if they don't, then they don't have to be your clients. Um, <laughs> in case you have forgotten, this is my next point fourth, I think it is. Uh, in case you have forgotten, laundry and dishes can be done in the background. So make sure every day the laundry is done and the dishes are done because the five or ten minutes you spend getting that started is worth it because that happens on its own in the background especially dishes, because it's only a one-time thing. You don't have to transfer it like laundry, but still. Uh, always get that stuff done. And then the last note, uh, Costco pizza is a thing. Uh, it's good. Anyway, I, at our Costco, it's really good. And uh, sometimes when family comes first and that kind of thing, and cooking isn't a thing, Costco pizza is a thing. So please remember that. Was that point the fifth? I guess. Whatever. We'll make this work. Uh, remember to subscribe. I think the button is right down there. Subscribe. And uh, I'm going to be updating and making more videos um, here and there as we go. I'm trying to uh, focus. I've got another uh, project going on where I'm writing an online course. And I'm going to be uh, promoting that as well. Um, if you sign up for my newsletter, I'll give you the link right across here Okay, to sign up for my newsletter for that if that uh, interests you. And yeah, we can keep in touch that way. So I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and reading my blog. And thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.